are you entitled to punitive damages? Because punitive damages really indicate that the defendant's behavior was egregious and awful. So tell me why. Well, I think he owes me this because when the accident happened back in November, um, I went to Cornell and I um, understood that he was hurt and I understood he couldn't work. So I offered a way out for him. Um, it was half the rent for three mm -hmm. months and he did not pay half the rent for three months. He only paid the rent for one month. He paid half in November, and then came December and January, he didn't pay anything, and so in February, that's when I filed. Yeah, but he's saying he told you there was no heat. Well, he told me that after the fact. Uh, he told me sometime in December, he told me that it was no heat, and I explained to him that I needed something from the um, gas company saying what was wrong with the, uh, it was the water but, heater. But you were sending him to do this, making him do the legwork. He's no. a tenant. When there's a problem with the hot water heater, or anything of gas, I have to have a red tag from the gas company, and that way I'll know what to fix. You don't reach out to the gas company and say, hey, I have a tenant that's complaining. It's your building. I did try to reach out to the gas company, but they won't give me any information because it's not my account. Okay. And then your position is once he does it, they come back in and then they tag it and then you know what it is to fix. Exactly. I reached out to Cornell on several occasions. He would not respond. Also, he indicated that he had problems with the hot water heater. There so was... this is two issues. There's the actual heater and the hot water well, heater? Well, it was only the heater because the first person that contacted me was the city of Los Angeles Department of Health. And they contacted me about a water heater. So I went over there, checked the water heater out. It was hot water. It was running perfectly. It was gas. Everything was fine. And then a few weeks later, the city of Inglewood contacted me about the heater. And then that's when it got kind of sticky because... I tried to reach out to Cornell. I had the neighbor that lives next door try to reach out to him. I had a handyman on site to try to fix it, and Cornell was not responsive. This went on for months, and eventually I had the city of Inglewood, the inspector, set an appointment, and he went over there to make sure Cornell would open the door. This was months later. So your position is that not only, one, was he given a break for the injury that he sustained, which would have compensated him adequately for the time he was out of work, right. but two, his defense that he, in fact, couldn't pay because of the lack of hot water or heat was really all his doing. You did whatever you could to get that back for him, but he was the one not cooperating. So all of this causing you all of this aggravation and angst and turmoil is why you're here saying, I recovered for the damages. He owed me rent. Another court found that, and I'm here suing you for punitive damages only. Would that be correct? That would be So correct. now I'm going to go to you, because you have an opportunity now to give us your defense. Right. Tell us, why isn't this your fault? You really aggravated this guy to the hilt, and you should be paying punitive punitive damages? Because on November the 2nd, 2019, when the accident uh, happened to me, right, he came, he did say about, we're going to go 800 for your rent. That was good, no problem. Around November... The end of November. Yeah, the Let's end of see. November. That's when I told him uh, my heater is not working. I text him. Now, do we have evidence I of didn't, that text? Because I couldn't give to my other phone because I, I can't get to my property. Actually, you didn't out. submit any evidence. Is that true, I sir? Only, I only submitted the pictures. That's it, because I couldn't get in the house because I'm still locked and, out. And the pictures that you submitted for us are pretty much just the pictures of, of your... Of accident. That was Of it. your hand. This is the falling stucco. Right, yes. So that's not in dispute. And I think you gave us a picture of your uh, hand. The hand, Would that be correct? Yeah. So this is your hand. Right. Yes. Okay. How long were you out of work? I'm still not in work right now. From your hand? It's not just my hand. I need six surgeries. I couldn't give you all the evidence because... Which is the hand? Let me see your it's hand. It's right here. Where do you need surgery? I just had surgery on my hand. About a month ago, they did Related surgery. Related to this injury? Yes. Have you given us those medical bills to show that... I couldn't uh, give you all that you because I didn't have... You couldn't give us that either? No, because I couldn't get in my house because I'm locked out. I just got locked out on the first. His place? Yes, his place. Well, let me ask you, why did you lock him out? Well, I locked him out because the judge stated that he was supposed to be out by uh, January the 1st. But didn't he get an extension? Yeah, he filed an ex parte. They yeah, gave so, him he, so then he didn't have to be out on January 1st? No. When did they tell you he had to be out officially? Um, April the 1st.